Right, so let's just get zoomed out a bit because that brick wall, as much as one of Derek's brick walls is a fascinating subject. There you go, brick walls, folks, brick walls. Um, it's um, probably not the greatest thing to show. Right, so let's have a look at the route map. So this is the route map. Now we just drove that bit. That's Darlington here, that's Barnard Castle here. Um, Bishop Auckland is here, Durham is up here, and uh, we're, we're, we're something. <laughs> we're head, there it is. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an ignorant southerner, what can I say? The shooter says he's found a fix for the glitching 2D map, reinstall all of Train Simulator. Well, that's interesting. Um, but if it works, I guess I can't argue with it. Right, so uh, so yes, that's the route map. Um, there's lots of little bits and pieces. So you, if you look down here, um, you've got quite a lot of detail in various um, places. That circle's quite interesting. <laughs> um, and then we've got uh, this uh, this line over here. Uh, where we're going to do something though, just something simple, is we're going to start in Bishop Auckland and we're going to come round to the um, the colliery over here. Oh yes, let's get rid of the cameras. Yeah, that's a good shout. Get rid of those two. And we'll get rid of uh, that one and that one. And we'll get rid of the 319. Hopefully that's better. Um, so, yeah, this is Bishop Auckland. Now I'm going to warn you I haven't done any research for this, for this scenario. Uh, I'm literally just throwing something together just so that I've got something to show. Um, so I might be doing nonsensical things and running trains in nonsensical places and for that I apologise to the purists and those that know what they're doing. Um, but uh, I don't. So um, This is really the first time I've had a good look at the route because um, I didn't really have a good look for the preview either. Uh, yeah, we're up to 130 viewers. That's amazing. Okay, so let's let's get on, because um, then we can get on and do another scenario. And stop listening to me babbling on. So uh, the 08. Let's put the 08 down. So there's the 08 here, and while we're at it, we'll just drop a 37 down, and we'll also drop a 25 down, just so that you can see them really. Um, under trains, let's have the uh, two car 101. And if you click on the object set filter and go to, uh, let me just switch back to here for a, a one moment, folks. Where is it? Obviously, being a bit blind. Oh, there it is. Class 105, pack one. So let me just tick that. Right, and then uh, right. That's it. We're back now. <coughs> right. So now we can add the uh, the 105 in. I prefer to do the tutorials on my other account because um, I haven't got anything I shouldn't have on there, or anything I can't show, which means I can show all the menus. Um, but basically in there, having uh, having clicked on this blue thing here, uh, you get the thing here, you can click find DTG and then inside there look for a class 105 pack 01 uh, and tick it uh, and that will, that will add it and then you'll get the consists and appear. So if you've got the twin pack, this is these are all the trains that you're getting. So it's the 105, the 101, 25, and uh, 37 and the Gronk. Now for my scenario, I'm going to be doing something with the Gronk. So let me stick a driver on it. Let's have a look. I think the, the Gronk is pretty much the Gronk. It's been available previously, so there's. Uh, C4. <laughs> it's an explosive 105. Um, right, so what I wanted to do was take the 08 um, and bring it forward. So let's go to the timetable view. I want to bring the 08 forward to. 
I should really practice this sort of stuff before we go ahead and do it on a stream, shouldn't I? Never mind. Go forward to there. That's going to go forward to Bishop Auckland North. I'm then going to come down through um, platform 3 avoiding. So let's do a, uh, a go via platform 3 avoiding and then we'll come across to the head shunt and stop it's got the train routed into there now having got that bit whoops, so we've dry, driven all the way around here and stopped just at this head shunt over here what I wanted to do is get a little train of coal wagons. So let's get some. So I think we should have some siddle siddle wagons, don't you? So let's have some siddle wagons. And we'll uh, we'll load them up. Of course, the other thing we could really use is a um, a brake van. There it is. Right. Apologies if I'm missing chat. I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Um, if there's anyone got any um, anything, then uh, either make sure that uh, you, if you let uh, one of the moderators know, then they'll um, they'll shout at me on Skype or on um, Steam messaging or something like that. Um, or just ask the question later on when I'm finished uh, doing the uh, doing this bit. Um, but if there's anything you want me to cover, then shout. Um, right. So we've got some wagons here now. So if we come back to the uh, this, this thing, if you remember our schedule, we've scheduled up to here. I now want to come and collect these wagons, so... Uh, if we're going to the college... You're probably right, they probably should be on the shouldn't they? <laughs> Dull. <clears throat> Not any r and are there picking me up. So let's uh, let's unload the wagons, shall we? Thank you, Eleanor r and -R. Um couple of them I think there's a small error with the package because it doesn't show the class 105 in it you have to make sure you've enabled the um, DTG um, class 105 pack 01 remember the class 105 comes as a separate pack um, so uh, on in the twin pack so you have to um, you have to make sure you've enabled it now what I do want to make sure is so if that's the front that's coming round so we need to couple to front right so let's couple to front and we want to in where is it Bishop Auckland East 1 let's just select it from here shall we and we want to select shift click uh, oh don't do that to me come on you can do it Come out there and try that again. Should it should work? What are you doing to me? So I can select one wagon. All right, we've got them all. Right, so we're going to select all those wagons. Bob of Arts, amateur. Bob of Hearts, I've noticed, is a really, he's, he's really, uh, he's really got something to say. <laughs> right, so now we're going to come up here. I think really Bob is actually my biggest fan in the world. It's because I selected the marker for. Ah, okay. I think Bob is my biggest fan. That's what it is. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we are going to there and it won't let me do that. Interesting. Why won't it let me do that? Okay. Ah, because the the wagon is up there and we're going to have to get out of here, aren't we? So we need to go back into the head shunt. I 
And then we need to push the wagons. Virtual Pilot 320, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Um, dream on, matey. <laughs> Uh, right car, how does one know if that points is AI controlled or player controlled? If it's got a blue dot, uh, well actually in these, yeah, if it's got a blue dot, then it's um, player controlled. If it has no junk, nothing on it, then it's computer controlled. So, we are now going to uh, push the wagons out. We need them out onto... Pretty much going to have to push them back here, I think. Ken Bear, thank you for the follow as well. Much appreciated. Make sure you don't add any milk tanks and risk raising the ire of uh, Bob. Actually, now you come to mention it. I think that the coal mine needs a bit of milk. So, uh, let's chuck some of those out. And... Uh, I've got, oh, yeah, I've got a milk tank. There you go. Look, Darlington Dairies. There you go. Milk tanks. Oh, I love milk, and the coal mine wants milk. Even if that's probably really horrifically bad idea for a consist. There is now milk going to the mine for the uh, for the miners. Keep the tea flowing. <laughs> Speaking of tea, you know what we need, don't you? We need... Oops, no, don't do that. That'll get rid of everything. Um... We got one of uh, one of those. What we actually need also is a um oh, can't find a van. Have we got any vans? I can't find a van. Okay. Sixteen ton mineral wagon, a war flat. Hmm. Well, let's put a press flow fopper in there, because the, we'll, we'll say that that's got all the tea in it, shall we? Tea bags in that one. Or am I just trying too hard now? I'm weeping inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, I don't think it's actually all going to fit in that siding down there, so let's cut some of that stuff off. Right. This is the problem with making things up. You end up getting rapidly unstuck. Right, so um, now I'm going to bring the train back to uh, Bishop Auckland, avoiding again. Possibly could just put another um, marker in there, but I generally find I prefer sticking to the markers that are on a route. And then we're going to come all the way down here, and now we should be able to make it into the uh, Elden Up Exchange. And then we can push back up to the colliery exchange. Oh, I think I'm just going to end the scenario there because the point's been made, really. And we will put an end marker at there. In reality, I probably want to do a little bit more, like maybe shunt the wagons around a little bit. But that's half an hour. That will do us for now. Um, I just had a Skype message. Who's sending me Skype messages? Okay, all right, thanks, uh, darkness. Um, we need the water van too to make tea, says Lev Miner. And a steam engine, obviously, for the kettle. More of us, this scenario is abomination! <laughs> Wait, we need coffee for American tourists. Now, nah, this is for the miners. Don't, Ed, you missed a trick. Well, uh, yeah, we need a kettle. Absolutely, this kettle. We need, we need a kettle to bring the uh, the tea bags and the milk. <laughs> oh dear, darkness. What do you mean, play a train marker? Matt Pedos never thought of selling scenario packs. Yeah, insane. It's the insane asylum. Serbia 22. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Right, so that's the player train basically done. It seems to. Uh, oh, hello. Now, okay, we appear to have a problem. <laughs> the player train's got to go all the way up there to come back again. Okay. So, always watch your red lines to work out where insanity happens. Um, 
Wow, yeah, now we come to look at it, he really, the, this player train really is going now. Is it that that is one way track? In which case, we need to come to Bishop Auburn track from two avoiding? Let's try that. See, all the red lastiness has gone now. But for some reason, now we're coming round here. I'm coming back there. What's going on? I think we've got track directionality problems going on here, which is why it's sort of going a bit crazy. I have not set it as a player train. You are quite correct. That always goes wrong. And I also need to set it as something, I call it a standard freight, shall we? Red is awesome, says Fringe. Yes, it is. So the red line comes out here, goes up here, crosses over. So when you're coming out from Bishop Auckland North what? <laughs> that's Bishop Auckland North isn't it? Where are we going? <sighs> Bishop Auckland North 3 is that Bishop Auckland North 3? I can't see there's a big blue thing in the way that's North 3 that seems to be the one place it isn't going um, and then it comes back to platform three avoiding. Viewers are getting lower and lower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It looks like it's going this way. I've told it to go to north three. Why is it not going to north three? Probably because that's so let's tell it not let's just not tell it to go to north three. Okay. Let's instead tell it to go to North Down, so let's add a waypoint uh, there. This is where doing something on the fly on a stream is a bad idea, because in reality, sitting here and playing about with pathing for a little while is, is fine. But on a stream, it gets really boring seeing someone mess it up and mess it up and mess it up. Right, so we're going to come now down to north down and then we're going to come down here well, that's obviously wrong ah! <laughs> scenario solution point the gun at the driver and demand him to go the wrong way yeah quite evening gouger right okay so clearly the pathing went wrong here somewhere where did it go wrong? Ah, there you go, look, it's already gone wrong. Let's come out of there. Right, now, watch this slowly as we get it, do it the right way this time. So, we're going to North 3. Can we go to, let's go to North Up. it goes all the way to the left and then back down to north up because I guess that makes sense so let's go to north 3 instead right so there's all these points here so you can't see the red line so we're in north 3 and now we want to come down this way is this way am I going trying to make it do something it can't do Yeah, I'm trying to make it do something it can't do. See, this is where things get... Uh, you, you you find that um, it looks like the game's not doing anything sensible. When you follow the track plan, you're actually make, trying to make the game do something nonsense. So let's go to North Down, all right, and that cross us over. And then I want to come back over onto this second line, which puts us in better shape. Yes for going via platform avoiding. Okay, so now let's put that in. And check the red lines, not there, see the red lines doing crazy stuff again. I'm not keen on your red fringe. I 
I'm just looking at the chat now. <laughs> Got proper mail. Welcome to live stream. Welcome to my live streams. <laughs> um, so having gone to here, which is uh, directionality that I need to turn around, and I think the point is it can't turn around that way. So in that case, what I need to do is come up here. So what happens is we're coming across up to here. What I actually want to do is come into here so I can come round, and the way we do that is to change the track direction. So if I mark from, say, whoops, so if we look at the track directionality, you'll find there's a big load of one way up here, which is what's messing us up. So what we need to do is fix that big load of one way uh, so that it goes the way that we, the one way that we want it to go. So let's go from here. No. Here. What I'm going to do actually is go to. Don't go over there. Who asked you to go over there? So I'm going to go to here and fix that so that that is up down. So why is that up down and it's not actually up down? Both. Oh, there you go. That's why. Um, and then... So now, in theory, that's being blue should now route the train slightly differently. Which means we now need to go onto north up like we originally wanted to do. This sort of looked like it ought to have been an easy idea when I first started it. Obviously I should have realised that it never works out that way. Oh, it's busy calculating. That means it's busy failing. Joe, can you show, you show how you managed to do those? I don't know what you mean, Joe. Can I show how I managed to do what? Woody, that's cheating. <laughs> Coming out of there, crossing over, and that's all now blue. So, I'm going to change this as well just to uh, get rid of all the red. Just to get rid of all this dirty, horrible red. change all that to both as well. So in theory, I'm going to also change, whoops, at this point I'm hacking. I'm honestly hacking. Let me change that to uh, the both. Right. Now everything. Now, now tell me it works. Oh, yay! It works. Right. So now we bring the train across and into the up line, and then we can bring it back down into the avoiding line. So it's important when you're building a scenario that you um, always watch your path and make sure it's making sense. Oh, now you're going to argue about that, are you? Ooh, the tension, says Bob. Track directionality, viewing it and changing it. Okay. So, um, that's the track directionality. So if I press the space bar, you can see it loads up different highlights. Things like they're showing, uh, I don't know which one's which, but some of them show speed limits, some of them show track types. Um, and they're basically those properties that were on the bottom, uh, on the right hand side there. This one's showing electrification, so none of this track is marked as electrified. Um, you see different shades, all many different things, and the route building teams and the scenario building teams could tell you very quickly what they all mean. 
Um, but as you use them, you'll you'll recognise them a little bit more. Um, Bob of Arts, I'm thinking this scenario has having presence issues with the presence of those milk tankers. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. That's exactly what the problem is. It's the milk tankers. Uh, these, this view actually has got all the green lines. This sort of gives you an idea where all the signal markers are, so you can see where all the signal markers are if you're interested in that. Um, and then we're back to the normal track view. So I'm using the space car, uh, space bar to change these. So I press it one more time. And again, that's it. And we're back to the track directionality where you've got all these um, rather lovely arrows. And you can see from the arrow that this track is only going to route that way and this track is only going to route that way. So if you can't move track the, the, the wrong... Um, if a train won't route somewhere, it wants to go somewhere strange, it's probably because the track directionality is is being unhelpful. Um, track directionality is important. It's not just there to make life hard. Um, that's just a bonus. Um, what it's actually there for to do is to make sure that AI, by default, always goes in basically sensible directions. Um, so... Exuter, uh, direction, type, speed, electrification, and super elevation. So yes, there's uh, there's a lot of that. That signal box is awesome. Nice and tall. Got a good view. What what can we see from up here? Quite a bit. Okay, right now back to the matter at hand. For some reason my my train still won't route. Oh, it will route. It got there eventually. Okay, it just had to think about it. So we're routed now down into here. And now we're going to route into the head shunt. Then we couple to front over here. So we couple that. And it's at, oh, there. We do that. For some reason it needs me to click on that side. There we go. And it's Bishop Auckland East 1. So just just make sure that your red line is making sense and you're going where you're expecting to go. Because otherwise what happens is you don't spot it and then you start getting off-path errors and all sorts of strange things going on. Right, so we've got these wagons. Uh, now we need to go back to the head shunt. And then push back into, which is where we find that we can't. So we need to push back into here, which isn't going to work. <laughs> going to have to change direct directionality on there as well. Um, or is there a better way of doing this? I don't think there is. Let's go and have a look at that platform and see what's going on down there. Where's Bishop Auckland? There it is. So we're in his, this siding at the moment, and we're bi bidirectional. So we're going to come out this way, and keep on going this way. So you'll notice that we can't go down that line. We can only go down this line. So from here, we could go into here, but then we can't come back out again, because the directionality won't let us. These miners are getting thirsty. Well, they'll need an extra milk tanker or two, won't they? <laughs> Um, and what we can do is we can come in here. Ah, this is going to work. This is going to work because if we were to come in here into this side here, um, then we can get pulled back out and then take the slip out that way. Okay, the directionality will let us do that. So let us do that. That means we're going to push a push into this platform here and then pull out again. So if we now go to the uh, the siding here, the platform. Come on, my clicking is failing. What is it? Bishop Auckland platform one. Again, what are we doing? Are we doing anything crazy? Nope, we're going exactly where we thought we were, and the timings are reasonable. And then we're going to come out, and we're going to go down to. 
uh, Elden Exchange. Elden, isn't that in Canada? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to come down to here. Right. So again, we'll just check the path and make sure that what it's doing is sensible. So we're pushing the train in, then we're going to come back out on the, this line. And the red line's coming out nicely, so that works well. And now we're just going to push this train back up here into this exchange siding. I'll have a look, have a look at chat in a minute and see how much um, Mickey taking is going on. Right, so that pushes back up there and then we'll just Elden Gallery Exchange Right, 22 minutes, that's actually a rather better time. Anyone fancy bet that the headshunt isn't long enough for the consist? No, I'm pretty sure it probably isn't. I was just thinking I was going to come back and uh, uh, and clean that up a little bit, actually, because that's quite a short headshunt, although it's only got to get back to there. So, uh, there's a possibility, but I think what we need to do is get rid of some coal and add some more milk. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll get rid of the press flow because um, that's just silly. If Derek was watching this, he'd probably be crying. Right, that's better. Will that fit over there? That should fit over there with a the gronk. So, we've got player service. Woohoo! Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up a Try and uh, one AI train just at the beginning. Uh, we'll set a couple of match, obviously. Why not? So we want to have a 105 uh, sitting in here and give him a, uh, a driver icon. And what we need to do is, if we look at the timings, we can see that we get to Bishop Auckland Platform Two, the uh, yeah, Platform Three Avoid, at about 12:04. So, if we start him at 12.04, so that um, you're, he's on the way, let's just give him a destination, and we'll throw him, just take him to this platform, so that's service 2, no, that's service 1, let's go to service 2, where that would where be useful, right, and we're going to tell him to just go to uh, there, And what we are going to do is set the start time of this, uh, which will be down as a stopping passenger at 12.04. So that he doesn't start until 12.04. So that's that AI service. Um, and then what we need to do really is have something that meets you about halfway up along here. So let's fly down there. The route. What am I missing in the uh, in the chat? Um, we'll drive the scenario in a minute and uh, whether it works or not we'll just call it quits <laughs> I think the point has been met uh, which is to show, this, show the loco and uh, stuff right now let's so let's do the 25 with that's cattle wagons coal wagons that's the 37 so let's do some coal wagons then. And let's fill these ones up. Uh, not with that one. Let's fill them all up. There you go. And we'll put an AI uh, driver on there. Back to the timetable. And we'll make him go to Aetherly Down 2. Just because I want to throw it somewhere and get rid of it. No, that's the wrong service. Service 3. Because I don't particularly care what goes on, all I want to do is create an AI that the driver can, the player can see. So now if we look at the player service, the player leaves um, Bishop Auckland Platform 1 at 12.10 and gets to Eldon here at 12.18. 
which means that uh, ideally this one wants to leave at 12.10 so let's set his departure to 12.10 so that you can actually he can actually be seen and we'll change that to a, uh, a standard freight as well why not right this, by the way, is just because uh, I'm coupling up to wagons, so and it's not entirely um, comfortable with that, but that's fine. Right, so on that basis, I think we're basically there now. So let's uh, save it and run it and see just see how badly this goes. Bob of Hearts, the tra tutorials are generally creative, and the premise of the creator knows what they're doing. Missing marker, Bishop Auckland East 1. What? 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 You play that. I will indeed need to change the couple instruction. You're quite right, actually, LNAR and BR. That's a good shout. <laughs> right, let's edit that scenario and fix that and work out why it doesn't like your Auckland East 1. Fix. Right, back here and fix that couple instruction. Is that what it didn't like? Because that is East 1. That's better. However, I'm not going to run it from that. I'm going to hit replay. Because you never run it from the play button. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, the class 25 is next, White Mead. So that error message about the missing uh, waypoint was because the couple instruction was wrong, I think. So uh, having redone the uh, couple instruction. Right. That gets us into there. Why is it echoing so much? It, coming into Bishop Auckland up. Is there? A, oh, right, I see. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't notice things like walls.
Right, stop here. And now we are going back to uh, the avoiding platform. Once we're told we can, anyway. What was that lamppost sort of thing back on the tracks? That was the loading gauge. Uh, where is it? Back here. You mean this thing? That's called a loading gauge. So you must, uh, your train can't be loaded above that marker, otherwise you're going to run into uh, major problems with tunnels and things. We've got a green light on the signals, so that's good. Hey there, Chase123324. Thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Uh, Gouger, is it a new version of the L8 or one that's been out for a while? I don't know if any changes have happened to it. Um, if there is, it's probably nothing too substantial. Molly, why wouldn't you start the scenario from the editor? Because when you start the scenario from the editor, the signalling system doesn't reset itself properly. Um, and it can be in a bit of a mess. Um, the, not a mess, but it'll be in an undefined state because of whatever happened throughout the scenario, various messages won't have been passed around. Whereas when you come out of it and come in properly via replay, it resets all of the um, signalling um, fully based on where all the wagons and so forth now are. So always come out and press replay. Hey, Wazaman67. Thanks for following. Much appreciated. See, and as we get here, he starts to go in. Fringe, I've no idea why that option was put in there the way it is, but all I can do is tell you how to get the best out of what there is there now. Or at least to get something out of what there is there now. <laughs> Alright, coming through Bishop Auckland. I'm hoping that green signal is mine and that one is... Uh, that seems to be for those two. Alright, fair enough, we're going to go for that. Yep, we've got a green light, so we should be okay for the yard. Let me just... Uh, Check the points, good. We're good into the site, into the yard. Milk tanks. Yes, had I put a milk in there, uh, a milk. <laughs> had I put a speed in there, I wouldn't have had to stop, correct. It was my intention to go back and do that, but I was so delighted to finally get that path working. I thought I'd just go for it. got the line into there and we've got a white signal oops I should have waited for that shouldn't I never mind I can't even complete my own scenarios without failing them
Ow. That wasn't quite a, as intended. Right, we've got the couple there wagons. Get back to the head shunt. Yeah, actually, I forgot to put the camera on again, didn't I? Don't need. Uh, let's have all that stuff on, and let's have that one. Uh, oop, that one, and that one. And let's have um, our trusty. Six, let's have a 66. Yeah, this looks like a 66, doesn't it? Honestly, I do like the sounds on this. No, Keith Ross isn't involved in uh, Weird Al. Uh, this is uh, prin principally Derek um, and uh, uh, a ton of other people in the company. I think everyone's everyone's had their hands in this. It's been a labour of love for everyone. <laughs> Because if I can't get this in the head shunt, then the rest of the scenario is kind of a moot point. You know what? That point hasn't changed. Well, let's leave the uh, stop point to do its thing. Because I've cleared that point, so we should be alright. Let's wait for the stopping point to do its magic. Yay! There we go, and now we can push into there. Probably a bit long in reality. Jammy. I just thought I'd give a nice close up of this milk tank. What do you think? Do we like this milk tank? That's rather nice, isn't it? Glass lined milk tank. What do you think, Bob? Milk tank? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's get into uh, Bishop Auckland Platform 1. Simulation Nerd, are there any mods on? Uh, as in moderators? Two milk tanks, too many. <laughs> Got green light, so we're into the uh, platform. Good night, LNE RBR. I'm coming into a platform, so it must be a passenger st a passenger train of sorts. We clear this signal. We are. I have to say, even though the OA is is actually really quite an old model now. It really is one of my favourites. It's a beautiful model, it really is. It really stands up to the current standard of uh, modelling. Right. We have a green light. And then the blue line's following us out. And it looks like we are clear into Elden Siding. Yep. Don't forget to switch lights. We have switch lights. Okay, how do I switch lights? <laughs> we got lights. Yeah, the map isn't working. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I think I forgot to set it back to... Uh, yeah, it's on no follow at the moment. There you go. So at some point now, we should see that other train coming up, because we told him to set off at 12.10. Ah, I'm speeding on my own scenarios as well. I just wanted to do this to prove that it's not just a general disrespect for other people's scenarios. 
those who are falling asleep, um, you're going to have trouble with the next scenario because the next scenario is at night. <laughs> like a mini class 20. <laughs> Let's have a look in the cab. Uh, no, Derek didn't actually make the wagon. Uh, he talked about this on the stream. Um, it was actually one of the other artists that uh, that did that one. It's sort of a tribute to Derek. Railhead said he wants to toot the horn. Here he comes, look. Brake fan on the passenger. Doesn't look like there's a brake fan. No, on, uh, sorry, passenger on the brake fan. Robert MK, this is a scenario that I'm. Uh, I've just written on the on the um, on the scenario. Um, questionably poorly, but. Uh, so far it works, so I'm not going to argue too hard. Got a green light as we continue. Hello, Jaden. Super Gronks can go up to 27. What's a Super Gronk? Right, we're taking this junction. We're almost up at Eldenic Quick Exchange. Uh, when am I streaming again? I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Not questionable at all, it was just poor. <laughs> Is the 37 the same 37s in the European Asset Pack? I don't know. Is it got. I can't remember. Did it have split head codes? Well, I know that the uh, the one in the uh, European Asset Pack has got split head codes. What I can't remember is whether this one's got split head codes. Basically, if it's got split head codes, then it'll be similar. It won't be exactly the same. I'm sure there's stuff being done to the livery um, to uh, brush it up a bit, but um, basically similar if it is. If it's not, then it was. Uh, it's it's the other ones the the non-split head code, the domino or the uh, centre code. Bob says he thinks the physics have changed, but don't quote him. BNSF, is there a dovetail stream tomorrow? There certainly is, and it's covering the new gas turbine from Victory Works. Oh, this one's got split head codes, in which case it is similar to the one on the... Um, uh, in the European asset pack then. Uh, I'm doing one train sim tomorrow and then I'm doing FSX. There's Elden Up Exchange, so slow down for that. Railhead, no, the uh, GT3, uh, the British gas turbine. 
Sort of looks a bit like a steam loco, but doesn't sound or drive anything like one. It's epic. I was driving it today so that I could get ready for the stream. Really, really interesting. Make sure the points are going to uh, set where we want them to be. So we're coming round, and we need to set that one. And we're going to Colliery Exchange one. Good. So our path is set for the uh, remainder of our trip. We can bring our milk where it needs to be. How does the GT3 work or drive? You can see tomorrow. It's very interesting. I couldn't get over the sound. It just does my head in because it looks just like a big steam engine. Signaling's working beautifully on this. Safe at home, turn to green by now, probably. <laughs> Prince Darlin, um, Keith, uh, Crossrail's speciality is placing of scenery. Um, so I suspect it's that. I don't know, because I, I haven't spoken to them in, a, in quite a long time, but um, that's certainly where uh, I think where Keith really, uh, really enjoyed um, what he was doing. Cheese, I think you'll find it says Bloodbloods. <laughs> Let's just call it Milkshake. Are you going to do what Terraman says? Are you the Jeremy Clarkson of the train world? No, no, no. Cameron's the Jeremy Clarkson of the train world. I have indeed heard of the UB gas turbines, they're epic beasts. I've got a, 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 an HO gauge board, my dad's got an HO gauge model of one, it's an awesome piece of kit. The miners are all cheering, their tea is arriving. Colliery exchange is coming up now. Have you ever thought of making Dad's model railroad into a train sim route? I actually did um, make some of the bits of it into uh, a railworks route quite a while ago. I captured all the main terminus station, um, certainly as a route. It worked really well, actually. I was quite pleased with how it came out, because there's, uh, there's quite a bit in the terminus station in the way of uh, signalling and points. Uh, the PG tips, fantastic. They're all in the guards van. As Bob is waiting for us at the colliery, I thought we'd bring extra milk. <laughs> Alright, let's stop there. So eventually, after a bit of a struggle um, with the pathing, um, 
we got there. So the key things that I think that uh, are worth knowing when you're doing scenarios is follow that red path and make sure it goes only exactly where you expect it to go. Um, even though the routing all says it works, that's why you need to um, you need to check the routing because it'll it'll come up with any kind of uh, uh, of strange pathing. It says incomplete because I jumped the gun on one of the stops. Um, and then the other thing is if you need to change directions, I've shown you how to ch look at the directionality of track, how to check it, and then how to overdo it. Oh, apparently we passed a signal of danger as well. Interesting. Oh well, never mind. There was me saying the signalling was working great. Apparently I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was a bit of a scenario creation tutorial, uh, or uh, well, not a tutorial so much as just an epic fail. But um, moving on, um, what we're doing now? Let me look at my list. Uh, oh yes, class twenty-five. 